Hello, I am Natasha Zana Arfin and this video is all about the state Negeri Milan from the country Malaysia. This is an assignment that is composed of eight students. We are all students from Taylor's University Lakeside campus. And by saying that, this assignment is for the module Pengajian Malaysia. Here are Alif, Abdul Rahman, Nisa, Aika, Amal Danish, Ker Muhammad, Ahmad Sulaiman, and myself. Today we will be talking about the facts regarding Negeri Sembilan. We will be exploring the history, the etymology, geography, traditional cuisines, nature parks, and tourist attractions. So let's start off with the history and the formation of Negeri Sembilan. Hi, I'm Alif and this is the history and formation of Negeri Sembilan. Negeri Sembilan is located at the west coast of Peninsular Malaysia. Back then they used to cover a huge part of the Malay Peninsula. The name Negeri Sembilan translates to nine states or nine domains and which are Sungai Ujong, Rumbau, um, Ulu Pahang, Nanning, Sigamat, Jelebu, Johol, Jelai and Klang. In the 15th century, the Minangkabaus, which are a group of ethnic people from West Sumatra, Indonesia, they migrated into the Sultanate of Johor. And in the 18th century, the Bugis attacked Johor, which made them weak. So the locals seek protection, seek help from uh, the leader of the Minangkabau in Indonesia, and he he appointed his relative to assist the situation and his name is Raja Malewar. When Raja Malewar uh, arrived at the Sultanate, he saw that Raja Khatib, who was a royalty, uh, he claimed himself as a, as a king in Negeri Sembilan. And Raja Malewar found out that he, has a, he had a scheme going on. And he wasn't too happy about this, so he declared war on him and Raja Malewar won and he was deemed as new king. He was named as Yam Tuan Basar by the Sultan of Johor. In 1795, Raja Malewar's life came to a halt and a civil war broke out. And uh, the British army intervened the Sultanate and was put under the control of the British resident in 1874. Fast forward to 1889, uh, where the formation began it was known as the Suri Minanti Confederation, where the domain of Suri Minanti, who was r ruled by Tuanku Muhammad at the time, joined domains with Tampin and Rumbau. Sungai Ujong and Jelebu later joined in 1895, which is now they are known as the modern day Negeri Sembilan. And in World War II, Negeri Sembilan joined the Federation of Malaya and became a state of Malaysia in 1963. Hi, I am Abdul Rahman Saidi and I will be talking about the Bethelegi and flag. The name Negeri Sembilan implies nine nations, Negeri which means countries, Sembilan which means nine. Then the name Negeri Sembilan is believed to be drift from their traditional bound with the Menangkoba people in West Sumatra, Indonesia. They are documented by other Indonesian tribes because they wish to travel and settle in other parts of the island, seeking for brands, banking, new life, and prosperity. A long time ago, some people migrated to a practical place in Malay. Bernasovel been so luck to commemorate their nine book heritage. The flag contest of red color in Negeri Sembilan refers to the former British ruler, black to the nine rulers, and gold to the Siberian ruler Yang. The flag contest of red color in Negeri Sembilan refers to the former British ruler, black to the nine rulers, gold to the Siberian ruler Yang Di Betring Besser and the summit shows Malia Tradin, Changing Butri. 
the symbol of the ruler, sword, and scab scabbard, which symbolize justice. Hi, I'm Nisa, and I'll be talking about the geography of Negris Milan. Negris Milan is a state located on the west coast of Peninsula Malaysia and is drained by the Lingdi and Moa rivers. Negris Milan is a state with products such as oil palm and rubber, livestock, and vegetable farming. Other than that, fruit cultivation and paddy farming is also another thing common in the state. The state offers bright sunny days and cool nights most of the year. There were nine districts originally, but parts of Selangor, Malacca, Johor, and Pahang were confederated in 1773. As of today, there are only seven districts in the area, which are Seremban, Jempol, Jelebu, Tampin, Kuala Pila, Port Dixon, and Rumbau districts. Hi, I'm Aika, and I'll be talking about the traditional cuisines of the Nigeri Sembilan people. Traditional Nigeri Sembilan food is known to be hot and spicy. The food is spicy because of one of the most used ingredients is chili patty, which are small and extremely hot type of chilies. Um, one of the most famous dishes is the redang minang, which is a spicy meat dish that is originated from the Minangkabu people. Um, this dish can be served with rice, bread, or you can have it as the main dish. It can be cooked with chicken, beef, or duck meat. Depends on who is preparing it. They also have masak lemak chili patty, which literally means to cook with coconut milk and green chilies also a signature dish from the Minang. Um, the base of the food is coconut milk with chili patty, a fiery spicy among the chilies and the roasted meat that add the extraordinary taste. Sometimes they change the meat to fish and add some pineapple to get the savory taste to the food. Um, they also have many other exquisite dishes like nasi ulam, sambal, tempoyak down kayu, um, apam johol and many others. So if one gets an opportunity to visit Negeri Sembilan, they should really um, take their time and try some of these amazing cuisines. Hello, I'm Amal Danish, and I'm going to tell you about national parks that can be found in Negris Milan. So one of the famous nature parks that can be found in Negris Milan is the Gunung Datuk Recreational Park. Here you can view the flora and fauna, as well as many different hiking trails. The hiking trail separates from beginner to hard, and at the peak, it offers a beautiful scenery. Another example of nature parks is Taman Negri Kanaboy or Kanaboy State Park. This place is filled with its waterfalls, streams, flora and fauna, which makes a beautiful scenery to view. Taman Negri Kanaboy is also filled with different species of bird, which makes it a good place for bird watching. If you're looking for a peaceful nature park, Langang Recreational Park is also a good place. This place is suitable for camping or to enjoy a peaceful walk in the forest. This place also offers a small waterfall which remains unspoiled, and it is a good place to ease your mind. Moving on, Negeri is one of the Malaysia's smallest states with little in the way of tourism attraction. However, there's still a lot to see, with its trip being, with its trip easily being a day trip from Kuala Lumpur, it's easy to access the area. Um, examples of the tourist attractions are mountains and it's home to the most popular beach resort and also some historic sites, museums, parks and other attractions. Moving along district-wise, I will explain 
tourist attractions that are mainly found in this district, such as Jelebu, there is the Kenaboi State Park. In Kuala Pilar, there is the Batu Maloi Cave. In Port Dixon is where you find most attractions, since it's heavily populated. A live 3D art galleries, for example, which holds around 50 drawings and illusions. Extreme Park, which has activities such as paintballs, ATV rides, and also go-karts. In the same same district, we also find the Army Museum, which is one of the biggest of its kind in Malaysia. Also, moving on in Port Dixon is the beaches, e.g. such as the Sanchana Beach. Moving along is the Upside Down Port Dixon Art Gallery. It's located in a normal looking shops, but do not be fooled by the exterior, as you are in for a surprise when you step into the art gallery. Moving over to another district is Seremban. Seremban has an ostrich farm, which is the first ever ostrich farm in Malaysia. And you also get to ride the ostriches. And not only that, but also you get to test the ostrich eggs and the ostrich meat. Thank you. Hello, I am Ahmed Suleiman. To conclude this video on the topic of Negerisin plan, let's recap we have explored the history and information of Nigiri Simbilan, its etymology and flag, its geography, its traditional cuisines, its nature and national bar, and the tourist attractions of Nigiri Simbilan. We have complied our research findings and created an online portfolio in our Wix website linked below in the description. On behalf of all eight of us, we thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed knowing more about the beautiful state of Negeri Simbilan.